Welcome to Introduction to Computer Science, Computer Software. This is Lecture C. The component, Introduction to Computer Science, provides a basic overview of computer architecture, data organization, representation, and structure, the structure of programming languages, and networking and data communication. It also includes some basic terminology from the world of computing. The learning objectives for this unit, Computer Software, are to define computer software and major software types, Describe application software classification and provide examples, including those focused on healthcare. Define what an operating system, or OS, is. Explain the features and functions of operating systems. Classify operating systems. Describe commonly used operating systems. Describe types and major attributes of files. Explain the purpose of file systems. Provide file management tips. And identify different implementations of file systems. This lecture classifies and describes commonly used operating systems. All computers have an OS, and there are several types available. There are operating systems for personal computers, for servers, for handheld devices, and for embedded computers. All of them provide some level of the same core functionality, but differ in complexity and size. For PCs, there are three main types of OSs available. The first is called simply Disk Operating System, or DOS. It is the command line system for Intel chip PCs that predate Microsoft Windows. The second is the Microsoft Windows Graphical User Interface, or GUI-based OS for Intel chip-based PCs. Version 1.0 was introduced in 1985, with subsequent versions 2, 3, and 3.1 being introduced throughout the following seven years. Note that these initial versions of Windows were all based on DOS. Windows 95 was introduced in 1995 and had an improved GUI. Microsoft also released Windows versions 98, Millennium Edition, or ME, and 2000. In 1994, Microsoft developed and introduced their business OS, Windows NT. In 2001, Windows XP combined the personal and business OS. When it was introduced in 2007, Windows Vista introduced security features and changes to the user interface, or UI. Windows Vista was met with poor critical reception, and in 2009, Microsoft introduced Windows 7, which was primarily intended to be an incremental upgrade for Windows Vista. Windows 8 was released in 2012 and introduced some changes, including a touch-optimized Windows shell. Windows 10, the latest version, was released in 2015. The third type of OS, Mac OS, works on Apple Macintosh personal computers, which have ranged from the classic Mac OS first introduced in 1984 through version 9 in 2001. The hallmark of the Mac OS was its completely graphical user interface. It never used a command line like DOS. Mac OS X is a completely different OS. It is a BSD Unix OS, which makes it very secure and stable. It was first introduced in 2002 and has had six additional significant versions since then, including the Snow Leopard version, version 10.6, which uses a graphical interface called Aqua. The latest version, OS X El Capitan, was released in 2015. Linux is a Unix-like operating system released in 1991 by Linus Torvalds. The name Linux comes from combining Unix and Linus. It is a free and open-source software. The user can interface with Linux either using a command line interface, or CLI, or a graphical user interface, or GUI. Some of the popular desktop environments are the K desktop environment, or KDE, GNOME, Pantheon, Cinnamon, and Unity. This is a screenshot of Windows 10. As of 2016, Windows 10 is the latest release of Microsoft Windows. This is a screenshot of Mac's OS X El Capitan, showing the Aqua graphical interface. This is Linux running the KDE 4 desktop environment. When comparing Windows versus Mac OS X, the biggest strength for the Windows OS is the large number of applications available, as well as all of the compatible hardware and devices. Conversely, the weakness of Mac OS X is the limited application software availability. Some software is simply not available for Mac OS X. A big benefit of Mac OS X is that it is easy to use, although the Windows 10 GUI is now quite similar to Mac OS X. Because Mac OS X is based on Unix, it is highly reliable and secure. On the other hand, 
Windows is not as reliable and secure. Software running in Windows often freezes up or ends suddenly, unlike with Mac OS X, where this is a rarity. Also, far more malware targets Windows platforms than Mac OS X. Part of the reason is that Windows use is much more widespread than Mac OS X, making Windows a bigger target. The other part of the reason is that the Windows OS is not as secure as Mac OS X. Unix is an OS developed in 1969 for mainframes. It is still used today in many different variations and versions. It is very robust, secure, and stable. In 1991, Linus Torvalds created Linux, which is a free, open-source version of Unix. Both Linux and Unix can be installed on both PCs and workstations, as well as large servers and mainframes. These are the command lines in a Unix system. Windowing environments are available for Unix, but the command line remains available. There are many OS options available for servers. Mac OS X Server is identical to OS X for PCs, it just adds functionality needed for servers. Microsoft Windows Server was introduced to follow Windows NT for large server applications. Since then, there have been several versions released, with the latest being Windows Server 2016. Additionally, there are server OSs designed specifically for high-performance computing. HPC Server 2008, 2008 R2, 2012, and 2012 R2. On the smaller side, there are server operating systems for small businesses, medium-sized businesses, and home use. Finally, Unix and Linux can be used as an OS for a server. Operating systems for handhelds are smaller and simpler than for PCs. The OS on a handheld is so small, it can be stored in ROM and loaded immediately when the device is turned on. The OS provides built-in support for touchscreens, handwriting input, wireless networks, and cellular communication. Some examples include Microsoft Windows 10 Mobile OS for phones, iPhone iOS 9, based on Mac OS 10 for iPhones, BlackBerry OS for Blackberries, and the Android OS, which is based on Linux for Android phones. An embedded system is a special purpose computer encapsulated in a larger mechanical or electrical system. There are embedded computers in everything from home appliances to power steering modules to home electronics. These systems still need their own operating system. Some operating systems are developed specifically for those devices and are proprietary. Some embedded systems are commercially available and customizable. Microsoft offers a family of embedded operating systems based on Windows. Among those currently used in 2016 are Windows Embedded 7, Windows Embedded Compact, and Windows Embedded 8. M-Turbo is an example of a medical device that uses an embedded OS. In this case, it uses Windows Embedded CE, which is another type of embedded OS from Microsoft. This handheld, portable ultrasound device boots quickly and provides instant ultrasound images that can be transferred to a computer using USB technology. This concludes Lecture C of the Unit on Computer Software. In summary, this lecture classified and described some of the more common operating systems, including the features and benefits of several of them.